Good Monday morning. I appreciate all those that were present in our worship service, uh, both uh, over the internet and uh, in person. We are going to start out this very first day of the week looking at the power of God's Holy Spirit. I want to read to you John 7, 38. Uh, he who believes in me, as scriptures say, from the innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Whoa, that's a great scripture. And so we are approaching this first day of the week, the first day of the rest of your life, and you've got an opportunity to think about some things this morning, and I want to just bring one thing to your heart and life. I run into a lot of people that tell me that I really, really want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, yet I don't feel His power, and I don't feel His filling, filling, filling up of the Holy Spirit deep in myself. Why don't I feel that way? Why do I feel like I have an empty life when I so desire to be filled with God's Holy Spirit? Well, we think we are diligent in uh, taking in the things we are told to make us grow. We long to be filled with and feel good about where we are at in this life, and we have our, our moments, but it's not consistent. We don't feel the filling of God's Holy Spirit consistently, and we have those extreme low times and those extreme high times, and we're wondering, why do I feel like I'm filled with God's Holy Spirit consistently? Uh, and the reason is because uh, there's a very important aspect of being filled with God's Holy Spirit. And our scripture has the answer. To constant flow of God's power of his Holy Spirit, he who believes me, as the scripture said. And so what do we do? Uh, we, we take in scripture, we take in uh, Bible studies, we listen to the daily Bible readings, we listen to Wednesday, we come, we're here on Sunday. Yeah, I just hit those dry spells where it just seems like I'm not full of God's Holy Spirit. Well, here's some food for thought. How many of us are filling in the blanks? in what we desire to believe about our Lord with the ideas of the world and the flesh. And here's what we're doing, a lot of us, and this is why we're not feeling, being filled with the Holy Spirit. So what's the scriptures? He who believes in me as the scriptures say. That's important. As the scriptures say. You're not being filled with the Holy Spirit because you're not letting God fill in the blanks. You're filling them in yourself. How I feel, what I desire. You know, we, uh, it never ceases to amaze me how I'll run across Christians, uh, professed Christians, and, and they'll be cussing like sailors one minute and trying to praise God with that potty mouth the next. What is wrong with that? What would your mama do if, they, if she heard some of the wording you're using? You know, and, and you, you look on uh, TV and you see these demonstrators using this horrible, foul language and, and putting it on walls and acting like it's uh, no big deal to have filthy language and the way that they're living. They're not, we're not living in a lot of cases the way the scriptures tell us to. We're living in the moment and we're willing, living how we feel we want to live. And that's the problem. We have to believe in Christ and then make sure our faith is lived out as the scriptures tell us to. That's why this is so important. If you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you've got to live God's way. You've got to live according to the scriptures. And I tell you all the time, and I heard another person tell me the other day, well, just stand there talking to somebody and he says, well, I just, I've got my own way of worshiping and my own way of believing. Well, you know what? That's, uh, you know, that's fine if you want to be a, uh, somebody that's, that's uh, not going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you want to live a life that's going to be useless and you want to live a life that uh, is going to be absorbed by self, but if you're a Christian and you have that idea, you are very, very much mistaken because we've got the guidelines on not just how to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and how to come to God and how to worship God, but how to take that worship into our lives and do what the Scripture tells us to do. That's why Scripture study is so important. Our Lord has just told his followers that he's going back to be one with the Father after his death on the cross. And he tells them and all that read this text to believe in him as the scriptures dictate it. And I know I've got people that are saying, well, preacher, I try to do it. I try to do it. When you tell me you're trying to do something, you know, it's like when my little kids were little and they said, well, Dad, we're trying. And what they're really saying is, Dad, I can't do it. I'm going to try it, but then you're going to have to pick up the slack. Well, you know, you can say all day long, I'm trying to live the scriptures. Quit trying and do it. You know what the Word of God says if you study it at all. And, you know, it's sort of like that old preacher that uh, 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 
went in view of a call and he preached a sermon and the deacons and everybody went just crazy over how good the sermon was they called him to be their pastor so he came back uh, after a couple weeks and he uh, moved on the field and he started on the field and they come to the Sunday uh, morning his first Sunday there and it's the same one he preached in view of a call and then they come back that night and it's the same one he preached and they come back Wednesday and the same one and that goes on for about three weeks finally the deacons all get together and they said the congregation wants to know when you're going to change sermons is this the only one you've got and he says no when you get this one I'll move on to the next one and that's what God's telling us a lot, is get them down. Get the scriptures down, get it down, and you're not going to get it down until you're living it. You don't get to fill in the blanks, and you don't get to say, well, God believes this, or nobody's perfect, or make any excuse you want to not to live the scriptures. If you're going to be filled with God's Holy Spirit, you've got to live His way in order to reap the blessings. We as God's children have to let go of our own ideas of right and wrong, and let the Bible speak, and then let our faith move us, to know that God says what he means and means what he says. And we have to get that, brothers and sisters. When God says the sanctity of marriage, when God says a man and a woman are what make up a, a family together for life, when God says that life starts before I yet formed you in your mother's womb at conception, when we stop trying to fill in the blanks, you know, I just, for the life of me, and I don't say this very often, but I don't know how anybody could vote for anybody that's for abortion. And especially the way it is now. These birthday abortions. How can we put these people in charge of a nation? Listen to me, people. God's not going to be a a nation that's got blood on their hands. How in the world... Can we fill in the blanks? How are we expected to be blessed by the filling of God's Holy Spirit when we're letting our own ideas move us? We're letting our own ideas become what's uh, important to us. Good grief. There's got to be a time and place to where we start putting God's scriptures from everything in our lives. Not just a few things and apply them where we want to, but apply God's word to every part of our life. The only way you're going to be filled with God's Holy Spirit is to place the peace that surpasses all understanding and have life that counts for eternity. We believe in Christ as the scriptures tell us to. Believe in this as God tells us to. You don't get to make it up as you go along. And you don't get to throw out what you don't want to look at. Believe the whole thing. The first day of the week, we look at the first part of our scripture. The inflow tomorrow... We'll look at the second part of the scripture, the outflow of God's Holy Spirit. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, let us understand that if we are going to be filled with your Holy Spirit, we've got to have the inflow of your scriptures. You tell us, Lord, just flat out in the scripture we read today, that we have to believe in you the way the scriptures tell us to. Thanking you for meaning what you say saying what you mean and for it to last even past all this political correctness this woke stuff that's going on we have to believe in you all the way around in jesus name we pray